Hey everyone, Evan Brown here at Vocalize Music. Today we have a new style of video for you. We're here with local percussion instructor guru, Alan Fear, also an innovative percussion artist, and we're gonna talk about the Innovative Percussion Fundamental Series with the Mallets today. The Fundamental Series uh, is one of the biggest growing series. There's been a couple new models introduced recently, and they're a really good seller, and you know, for the price, you can't really beat it. They're probably the best thing there could be for elementary schools and middle schools and even some high schools that like to keep a few pairs of mallets around for students to play on. This is the F1 Fundamental Series Soft Marimba Mallet. So the F1, just like a lot of the other Fundamental Series mallets, uh, features a black birch handle. So super clean looking, won't show dirt over, the, over time, looks great. You can always touch it up with a Sharpie if it should get scratched. Um, features a yarn wrap. Decently small head size, which is great, especially for younger players and, you know, the type of instruments you see in a middle school or an elementary school are usually non-graduated instruments, like older instruments or, you know, like your basic xylophones or whatever's around. So it works great for the bar size. Great wrap, as with any innovative mallet. Um, really solid black yarn, very black mallet. So check them out. Uh, as with the F1... Uh, fundamental series mallet from Innovative. The F1.5 is a bird shaft with a black lacquer fish finish with a little larger uh, head and core on it. Um, it's obviously blue yarn. Uh, as Evan said, um, it's this little bit of a smaller head makes it great for student size instruments that you're going to see in most uh, elementary and middle school band rooms. Also, again, great for high school percussionists. Uh, for extra mallets, um, I, I have used these before in ensemble situations. This is a great marimba mallet with medium attack and works great for multiple percussion and cymbal sounds also. The innovative F1.5. F1 so we got the F2. This is the hardest of the fundamental series marimba mallets. Features the same black birch handle, um, all that stuff. The small mallet heads will work great for the instruments. A little bit harder, um, core of a tighter wrap. Uh, really great for really articulate passages. It's light, so you know if you're playing something that's pretty quick, you need a light mallet that's going to articulate well on the instrument, and you don't need to be like bombastically loud. Like you don't need a ton of weight to get through the sound. This is your this is your mallet. Also works great on some temple block stuff. I've used them for that. Um, great mallet to have around in your arsenal. Um, so check them out. The innovative F two. Uh, now we're on to one of my favorite mallets in the series. These are the Vibe mallets offered from Innovative, the Fundamental Series. The one I'm holding is the F5. It's the soft um, uh, Vibe mallet that we have. It has a little bit larger core and it's cord wrapped. And if you notice, this one's actually a rattan shaft. The excellent part about the series is all of the Vibe sticks that they offer come in a birch lacquer um, covered shaft, just like the marimba mallets, but they also come in a rattan for your preference. A lot of times, I know uh, Vibe players um, like the, the flexibility of the rattan mallet. Um, it's used a lot in like dampening techniques, which sometimes you address with younger students. The birch mallet is a little bit more rigid, okay, which gives you a little bit less of that snap or that whip from the stroke. So you have two different varieties that you can choose from. Again, these are the soft uh, Vibe mallets with a little larger core, and they're going to produce a nice warm tone. Again, as I said, this is probably one of my favorite sticks in the series. Uh, it's very, very similar to a lot of the professional or higher grade models that you'll see in other uh, mallet lines. So I think you'd be very happy with this. This is the Fundamental Series F5 and F3. So we have the next one in the Vibe series is the Medium Vibe. Uh, it's the F3.5, which is the birch handle version, and the F5.5, which is the rattan handle version. Now, following along with the rest of the series, um, if you haven't noticed with the yarn-wrapped marimba mallets, the medium marimba mallet is blue, so is the medium vibe mallet. So there, there's very much a color reference, same with the soft being black and the hard being purple, as you'll see. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, as Alan said, with the rattan handle, the players who prefer rattan handle mallets on vibes 
you know, for more advanced players, you know, the high schools. Um, also, there's a lot of people that like to use the F5.5s as a two mount marimba mallet for like Goldenberg etudes, uh, George Hamilton Green etudes. It's a great mallet, covers the range of the instrument very well. And of course, we have our birch handle version, the F3.5. So, 5.5, 3.5, straight down the pipe, your medium vibe offerings from the Innovative Fundamental Series. In our last portion of the Vibe mallets offered by Innovative Percussion, the Fundamental Series, we have the F6 Rattan Hard Vibe Mallet and the F4 Hard Vibe Mallet with the bird shaft, again with the black lacquer. Um, with, as Evan mentioned before, with the marimba and Vibe mallets, we have uh, the purple cord, okay, purple cur cord wrap to signify that it's hard. So the black is always going to be soft. The blue will always be the medium, and the purples are the hardest. This is a smaller head, okay, which is going to give you a little more articulation. As with the other mallets, uh, the rattan is going to give you a little bit more flex to the mallet and maybe offer some greater possibilities for some high school percussionists or some older percussionists, but also great for the elementary and middle school classroom. And then we have the bird shaft, which is, again, a little bit stiffer. These are also great um, in the upper registers of the instruments. You're going to get a lot more articulation and it's going to be a lot um, a lot more characteristic sound to the top end of say a vibraphone or uh, in some cases maybe the top end of a xylophone if you want a little bit softer sound so uh, excellent these are great mallets again um, I use them uh, pretty regularly with a lot of my students and for the price point they're excellent it's an excellent choice uh, moving on we're going to venture into the other part of the series or the second part of the series which is the unwound part of the series. Um, there's a vast majority of mallets, and this is great for stocking up a mallet bag for a high school band room, as far as you know, having a good selection of unwound mallets, xylo, glock, whatever, multi-percussion, uh, all that fun stuff. So, here we have the F7. This is the soft rubber head. You have like your oval, typical oval style rubber head, uh, soft. Black birch handle, pretty straight down the pike. This is a great mallet for, you know, anything you, where you need just like a soft rubber mallet. Great for playing scales at low volumes, great for practice. A lot of students will, will buy a set of these and actually use them for practice marimba mallets. That way they're not wearing out their yarn mallets. You know, they're keeping their good mallets good for performance and using these for practice. Weight's pretty close to the same. So check them out. This is the F7. On to the F8. Uh, which is the medium unwound marimba mallet. It's a yellow uh, core, obviously. Um, it has the oval shape, just as the other ones. Um, the, the, the great thing about these mallets is that even though they're, they're awesome for playing scales and a, uh, like a practice mallet for a more advanced student, they're a great weight for a younger student. They're also extremely applicable um, in a couple of different musical situations. A lot of the older marimba literature that you'll see uh, actually calls for a rubber mallet. Um, one instance of this would be the uh, Sonata Allegro by Mitch, Mitchell Peters. Um, as for a, a, a medium, I believe a medium uh, rubber mallet, this would be a great substitute uh, for that, a great, um, a great mallet for that piece. Uh, you can also use it in a variety of situations. With a medium, it sounds great in all ranges of the instrument on the marimba. Also, you could probably use this um, for some lower passages on the xylophone if you need to in a musical context, but uh, overall great weight, great feel, and uh, an excellent product. Finishing out the the, the, the rubber in the, for marimba, this is the F8.5. This is a hard rubber, great for the top end of the marimba, low end of xylophone. Um, you know, this would actually be a great woodblock mallet as well, um, temple blocks, all that fun stuff. You know, probably a pretty good hardness for playing like the temple block part of variation on a Korean folk song for those band directors out there. Stuff like that. Um, black birch handle, hard rubber, oval head, blue. So pretty cool. Check them out. We have the F9 uh, xylophone stick from the Innovative Percussion Fundamental Series. It's a kind of a, a green uh, color mallet head. Um, has the oval. Uh, oval design, plus we have the black uh, lacquer um, birch shaft. Uh, again, this is a great stick for a lot of applications. Its primary use is xylophone, and it's great in all registers. It's a little bit harder than some of the marimba mallets, so you might not want to use it on marimba, especially if you have a nicer instrument, both on synthetic 
and uh, rosewood bars for a xylophone pro or for a marimba would probably be a little hard. Um, this is also a good mallet for maybe a piccolo wood block or something that can can withstand the harder mallet head. Um, but it's going to get great articulation. Uh, again, for any level of player, it's a great practice mallet. Um, if you want to save some of your nicer mallets for the uh, for performance situations, um, great in all registers. Love this product. So we have the F10. Now we're venturing into the Glock mallets. Uh, this is a great little Xylo Glock mallet. Good for the top end of Xylo. Um, you might want to watch it on a rosewood board, um, but for synthetic Xylo, if you really need a biting mallet, it's going to bite through the mix. The F10 will probably do, do you some good. It's also a great all-around Glock mount. Like if you're gonna have one Glock mount in your band room and don't want to spend a ton of money on something more expensive from the Orchestral series or the James Ross series, this is a great mount to have around. Um, you got, you know, a nice hard head. It's got a nice weight, so it's actually gonna make the metal bar speak on a Glock. And it's got a birch handle. Uh, the birch handles on these are actually an inch shorter than the rest of the series on the bell mounts, so they're not like overly long where it's like, you know, the mallet is taking over. So, great little mallet, check them out. Um, I use them a lot with front ensembles for like a nice, uh, nice simple bell mallet to have around, um, you know, for an extra Glock that you have mounted on a marimba, any of that fun stuff. This is the F10. This is probably one of my favorite mallets in the Innovative Percussion Fundamental Series. This is the F11 Brass Mallet. Um, obviously, brass mallets have a, several applications, primarily on Glock. Um, although sometimes you, you don't always want that sound, it's a, it's a sound that uh, you may want in certain occasions. Um, but outside of using these on Glock, uh, a great application for this is on Beltry, okay, to, to do a Beltry scrape. Also on Kratali's, in specific situations where you want a little brighter color, uh, these are great mallet. Again, even though this is a fundamental series, and this is, I think, pretty unique to Innovative Percussion, um, most uh, beginner mallet series or fundamental series, if you will, don't offer a brass mallet like this. So this is actually a really, really nice addition to this series. Um, they're, they're weighted pretty, pretty nice. Again, as with the other Glock sticks, they're a little bit shorter. Uh, so they're, they're pretty versatile and um, a very, very nice weight for even a beginning player. Because sometimes brass mallets get just a little bit heavy. Some of the other mallets are just a little bit larger. So for smaller hands and uh, those unique colors, Awesome stick. So next we got the uh, F12. Uh, this is the Polyball. This is a, a great, really cool Xylo Glock mallet. Um, this is really applicable on Xylophone as well. Um, and it will work well on a rosewood instrument. I've done it before. Um, you got the same, like, a little bit shorter shell, uh, shaft, just like, the, just like the rest of the bell mallets, with a nice Polyball head. Um, this is also a great mallet for student bell kits. Um, this is the mallet that we use in our rental kits that we send out to schools and rent. Um, we go through a lot of them and people have re ever since we switched them, people have really taken notice and really like them. So it's not going to leave marks on metal, you know, it's a really versatile mallet, nice mallet to have in your arsenal, so check them out. Now we have the Fundamental Series F13 concert bass drum mallet from Innovative Percussion. This is probably the coolest feature of the entire Fundamental Series. Um, a, not a lot of companies offer a student model of bass drum mallet, but the greatest thing about this mallet is that it's not just a student model. It's actually, I, I would use this in several, several applications. Evan, you want to talk a little bit about the specifications on this mallet? Yep. So, for the features of this mallet, um, when I first saw it at PASIC when it was introduced last year, immediately I knew it was going to be a great seller for us because we have been looking for a mallet in the industry that's going to withstand abuse and is going to be a great fit for schools and not be $50, you know, or however expensive. You know, with budgets getting cut, you know, band directors, you know, the last thing you want to do is, is drop a ton of money on a bass drum mallet that the felt's going to get picked off by a kid over the next couple months. So, with this, they took the hardwood hickory uh, base wood for the shaft, which is what they use in all their marching sticks, many other concert implements, marching bass drum mallets. Uh, put a nice taper, it has a little bit of a weight bubble at the, at the end, which adds some nice weight on the front of the mallet, nice tapered feel at the back, you know, for, you know, for the student. And then added a fleece cover to the top, on top of a so already soft core, 
Uh, really creates a nice warm sound out of the bass drum. Very, very versatile. So, with, with all these combined, they really have created a mallet that, you know, can really withstand the abuse of the classroom environment. But we have many teachers that have come back to us after buying this mallet and said, these mallets are great. I want to get them for my high school. You know, I want to have them for my elementary school. Yeah, and Evan, one of the other great things about this mallet is in the middle school or, you know, even the elementary school situation, is that it's a little smaller shaft too, which is very similar to the marching bass drum mallet. Um, for small hands on such a big drum, it's, it's great. Um, I know a lot of times with a larger bass drum mallet, uh, there'll be a larger shaft, which, you know, smaller kids necessarily can't hold. So that's another great addition to this mallet yep. that I think a lot of younger players really, really like and enjoy. Yeah, so this is the F13, um, and it's a great buy for anyone looking for just a straight down the pike concert based drum out for their classroom. All in all, I'd like to thank Alan for coming in and hanging with us on this Friday morning. Um, it's rainy outside, it's not too fun here in Pittsburgh right now this fall, but you know, he took some time out of his schedule and we talked some mallets, and hopefully, you got something as you know the consumer that you learned about this series and that you can take you know to your classrooms or your students or if you're a student yourself you know hopefully you, we helped you find the mallet you're looking for at a great price um so be sure to check out some of alan's stuff if you're from western pa he's out in the fall teaching with moon area high school kiski area blackhawk trinity uh, a little bit at mount lebanon also in the winter Check out Three Rivers Indoor Percussion, uh, which we're, we all work with. Um, North Allegheny High School and Kiski Area High School, all you know out there. And then in the summer, he is actually on the pit staff at Spirit of Atlanta Drum and Bugle Corps. So check all of them out. They all use innovative stuff. And until next time, we'll see you later. Thanks, Evan.